A while back, Hobby King started selling the FPV 250, which was a mini quadcopter with the motor sh motors being 250 millimeters apart from corner to corner. Then RC Drones came out with a add-on to it that adds on a cage to it, and it just arrived today. This is from RC Drones, it came in priority mail, and it came looking like this, and all in a nice bag. So I'm going to open this up and take a look at it. So here's the FPV 250, just as you'd probably get it from Hobby King. And then here's the add-on cage um, for the FPV 250. Has the piece of carbon fiber here. It's a little flexible, which isn't bad. Then it has the pieces to go on the front and the back and the camera holder. Nice. Good. And the little spacers with uh, washers and all the screws you need to put together. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this together and we'll see what it looks like. But this is these screws probably go with the, the carbon fiber frame. And this, let's see what this looks like. And here's the frame and the oh, small screws probably for the legs, the roll cage and the other screws and legs. I'll go ahead and put this together and we'll see what it looks like. So I have the frame assembled now. If you're going to be flying with this, you're going to have a lot of extra screws. You don't need these number three pieces, this, these four little screws, because there are what you use, that's what you use to hold this down on the canopy down or the roll cage down on your uh, quad like this. And this thing is designed, it has so that it can sit on here uh, one of two ways. You can either sit on here this way if you like it, or it can sit on here this way. And the little, um, the little triangle pieces here line up with the triangle pieces here. Put those down, put it down however you want, and it has the four screws that will hold it down. That's why if you're using the carbon fiber frame, you probably don't want this roll cage on there. And also, these that come in the number two package, there's 16 of them in here, and these are to hold your um, motors onto uh, the arms here. So the way to put this together is you put all the screws in the top like you would expect. Then on the bottom, you only put them in on the ends down here, the two on the end and two on this end. And also make sure that you put your camera mount in there if you're gonna be using it. Then this slides on here like this. And then it has, it comes with these uh, little spacers. It's kind of hard to see. Spacer with the screw on it and the spacer goes down in the hole so that the uh, screw can have something to mount to. So I'm going to uh, weigh these to see what they actually weigh, what the two pieces weigh individually. Here. I've zoomed in a little. It's at zero grams right now because I just teared it and put this on. It's at 104.6 grams. So we'll go ahead and then we'll, 104, we'll weigh this. 56.1. So if we put both of them on here together, 160.8 together. But that's also without the other screws in it. So let me get those added. So here it is with the four bottom screws in. And it comes in to a total of 163.4. Some of my immediate observations about this frame. First of all, they did leave the hole uh, inside here for the 9 gram servo to fit in. The back side of the frame doesn't have the hole, but the uh, actual carbon fiber plates are actually the same, so it doesn't matter which one goes on front or back. But you do want to make sure that you put your camera mount up on the same side as your um, servo hole there. Here's a 9 gram servo that I had left over from a different project, and I was going to see if this actually fit in here. See how well it does. It has some hot glue, <laughs> hot glue still on it from something else from the plain but yeah it fits fine there there's the nine gram servo and then you could use um, a couple servo screws to hold it into place and maybe it goes the other way well oops but it fits in there just fine even with the uh, carbon fiber frame over top of it yeah it looks like it's even set in flush so that's real good 
Uh, the other thing I can say for sure is that this definitely feels pretty light. The other quadcopters that I've been flying are the, is um, actually the only other quadcopter that I still have is my F450 and there's the, there's the propellers on it. You can see how much further apart these are. Let's see if I can get this a little better frame. There we go. You can see how much further apart the F450 is than this little 250. This thing is pretty small. With a lot of the other carbon fiber frames costing over $100, this one actually makes a pretty good run at being competitive with them. Even though the whole thing's not carbon fiber, even though you got this plastic frame here and the plastic legs, I, I still think this is gonna make a pretty nice quadcopter. I got motors coming and we'll see how this build actually goes later. But as far as this frame goes, I really like the frame. I really like the way it looks and I like the uh, how light it is and it feels like it's going to be pretty well built together and the flex that i was seeing earlier is almost non-existent now i mean when you push on this it doesn't bend at all and i'm giving it pretty good pretty good push but it seems to be it's like it's going to be pretty tight it also has the um strap the holes here for a battery strap if you could run it through there anyway thanks for watching this video if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and this has been a review of the qav 250 not to be confused with the other QAV250 that already exists, that's completely carbon fiber. <laughs> Thanks for watching.